A lot of people are always asking me, what are my thoughts? What are my beliefs on the LGBTQ community? This topic is extremely sensitive, so I want to make sure that I go about it in the right way. I side with the word of God. You guys know I am not no lukewarm. I don't pick and choose what scriptures I want to support. I side with the Bible 100%, okay? So let's get into what the Bible says about homosexuality. The Bible tells us that it is a sin for people to sleep with the same sex. 1 Corinthians 6 verse 9. 9 through 10 says, Do you not know that wrongdoers will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Neither the sexual immoral, nor idolaters, nor men who have sex with men, nor thieves, nor greedy, nor drunkards, nor slanderers will not inherit the kingdom of God. God made a man and a woman. This is the natural order of God. If God wanted it to be woman with woman and man with man, then they would be able to reproduce and, and, and multiply their seeds. But it's not natural it, it cannot happen this is not the order of god but i do not like when everybody is always just targeting these people who are struggling with their sexuality when behind closed doors those same people are committing wicked acts that are detestable in the bible that are also an abomination so make sure that when you do want to correct a brother or sister that is in love that you yourself have already removed the plank from your eye, the sins from your life before you try and bash or condemn someone else. God will work with them. But notice this doesn't just say that people who sleep with the same sex are not going to inherit the kingdom of God. This also talks about people who cheat on their wives. This also talks about drunkards, swindlers, slanderers, greedy people, people who worship idols. This is not just targeting the LGBTQ community. This is targeting a vast majority of sinners here. There are a lot of ignorant Christians who push away people and that person will then develop a protective shell and not even want to come to God. Stop rejecting people who are struggling with their sexuality to the church, okay? This is where you need to open your arms to them, welcome them and point to Jesus because Jesus is the one that can soften hearts and harden hearts. God is the one that does the Convicting. God is the one that shows them the truth and transforms a person internally to show them their true identity. Don't reject these people. Let them come. Come all who are weary, not come some of you who are weary. Come all who are weary, Jesus said. 1 Timothy 1 verse 10 says, The law is for people who are sexual and moral, who practice homosexuality, who are slave traders, liars, promise breakers, or who do anything else that contradicts wholesome teaching. Romans 1 26 through 27 says, even the woman exchanged natural sexual relations for unnatural ones. In the same way, men also abandoned natural relations with women who were inflamed with lust for one another. Men committed shameful acts with other men and received in themselves the due penalty for their error. So the Bible is telling you that this is unnatural. This is an error. The devil has perverted the order of God since the beginning. There are spirits of homosexuality that are entering into people and giving them these thoughts of you know sleeping with the same sex and and these are not of god and i pray for you and i love you if you are struggling with your sexuality know that everyone at some point struggles with some sort of sin none of us are perfect the number one thing that you need to do is have a relationship with god he will show you your true identity not the lies from satan he will change your sexual desires so if you are questioning your sexuality or you have experimented with you know same-sex sexuality i pray that you would seek the truth for yourself don't take it from me but go and read the word of god let god pierce your soul with his truth christians body of christ we need to be patient we have to be forgiving and loving because they are struggling just like we are love you guys